Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and today is Tuesday, November 22nd, 2016. The Tarot card for today is the Queen of Cups. Everyone knows how fond I am of the Queen of Pentacles, but I'll be honest with you, I think I'm equally as fond of the Queen of Cups. She is probably the coolest person out there. She's just so chill. Do you know what I'm saying? Of like... You just can't ruffle her feathers when things are going on and, you know, people may be arguing or there might be a crisis. She's the one that stays calm. She's the one who's level-headed, keeps her emotions intact, and really it just has such great composure no matter what is going on. Now, just because this energy is a female doesn't mean that, you know, it doesn't apply to you if you're a guy out there listening. Not necessarily. It could be your own energy today. It could be a female who's around you. But this is definitely someone who just, you know, when she enters the room, she's like the calm in the storm. When things are going wrong, she's the one who can step in and know what to do. Sometimes when things happen, people become overwhelmed and they don't react to a particular situation in the way that's in their best interest but this type of energy this type of person can come in very good to have in um, you know the medical profession you know while I'd, I would say that the medical pro profession is more represented by the sword suit the cups definitely tend to balance that out because you need more than your intellect to be a good doctor, a good nurse. This is a compassionate card showing compassion toward other human beings. So there's a lot more that's involved here. It's another layer. I don't think that you can go around and, you know, label your family and your friends and say that so-and-so is specifically this card or that card. Sometimes people try to do that. But when you start peeling back the layers, you find that everybody has multiple layers to their personality. And this is one of them, okay? But it's one that tends to show itself also this time of year. I've been mentioning this in the last couple of weeks. You know, once we hit November, you know, people are starting to think about the holidays. And that generous nature tends to come forward. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. I just always wonder why it's not more prevalent throughout the entire year where people are good to one another like seriously do we need a season folks i know i sound like a broken record because i preach kindness and compassion throughout the year but it really is the way to be so when you stop and think about it this particularly particular energy really applies to you know especially here in the u.s it's thanksgiving this week you know, what are you thankful for? There's a lot going on, but it's that type of an energy that is around. And it remains mm, throughout the holidays, at least. Maybe until the first week in January. And then everybody's cranky because they're on a diet. But do you know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, why not be that Queen of Cups throughout the year? And when I say generosity, that doesn't mean that you have to go out and give your money away either because pretty much most people really probably don't think they have enough to just do for their family and themselves but overall I think everyone can practice kindness and compassion on a daily basis so enough of my preaching for the day I want to thank you all for listening and I'll see you here again tomorrow and as always have a great day